Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna do this Zebra 701 and Zebra 402 hack. Let's do this real quick. Now this pen hack has been around for quite some time. Basically, it's taking this all metal body aside from the plastic cap and exchanging this, well, semi all metal body with the metal cap and putting the metal cap on here and then putting the plastic cap on this one. Yeah, that's the hack. I mean, I, you know, hey, if you want something, I do like the clickiness of the 402 better than the 701. This one just feels a little softer. This one, I like it. It's more satisfying to click. You know what I mean? Especially if you want to fidget a lot. So let's get right into this hack. So we're going to start by taking the top of this. Now they unscrew, so you might have to grab a pair of pliers and wrap it in something so that you're not going to mar up the surface to kind of break it a little bit. It might be glued in there just a hair. I mean, just apply just a little bit of pressure. Obviously, you wanna be careful when you're doing this. You don't wanna mar anything up, so don't squeeze too tight. And, uh, you know, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, it's threaded on there, so you're just kind of loosening it up just a little bit to, well, unthread it. And all we're replacing is the end of it, and it's up to you if you wanna replace the clips or not, or keep the clips the same as the other ones. I think I'm gonna replace the clips just so I could tell the difference between everything. And you can see that this this is metal and this is this is all plastic for whatever reason. I don't know why they did that. If you're gonna give me an all metal pen, give me an all metal pen. And then you're just really reinserting everything. And the only other thing I'm gonna do is change out the ink so that I can have a blue pen because I like blue pens more than I like black pens. So that'll leave me with two blue pens, one completely untouched, one completely modded, I guess you could say, and then I'll have a black pen that's kind of a mix up between the two. But either way, it gives me three great pens to deal with. All right, pretty much done with that modification. So I think we're pretty much done here for today and I will see you on the next one. But before I forget, if you're into that kind of thing, don't forget to subscribe. You know, check out some of my other videos. There's some Leatherman mods, Leatherman wave mods and stuff like that, and some other old DIYs that I've done. So definitely check some of that out. I'll see you on the next one.